Hey YouTube, it's Marty from the channel Budget Bug Out, and today we're going to be talking about the Spyderco Salt Native 5. We're going to be talking about what I really like about this knife, which, spoiler alert, is a lot. I'm also going to be talking about the backstory on how I got this knife, and of course I'll be talking about the design and my experience with this knife and who I think this knife is designed for. So first and foremost, this is the salt version of the Native 5. So what does salt mean? So salt, you can kind of tell because it has a yellow handle and it also has an up upgraded blade steel that is very rust resistant, but the salt knives are designed for people like fishermen or people who spend a lot of time in moist or damp environments. And the reason for that is because the steel, and as you can see if you go to Spyderco headquarters in Golden, Colorado, is designed to basically not only be corrosion resistant, but kind of rust proof in general. They have a bunch of their salt knives in saltwater aquariums with the month and the year that they were left there and there's not a spot of corrosion on them. So those were the H1 steel. So this is the upgraded LC200N steel. And I'm not a metallurgist or anything like that, nor do I claim to be or pretend to be or anything but I'm really blown away by how rust resistant this knife is already. I'm just kind of leaving it and putting water on it and leaving that overnight. I have not had any issues. So if you're someone who maybe you've accidentally, whenever you're cleaning it, you, you forget to uh, dry it off completely and you lift, leave like a couple beads of water on your blades, you know how beneficial it is to have a steel that is truly stainless or stain free in this case. Golden Colorado is where this is made. This is made in the USA, but I really, really like this steel and I'm excited to see how it performs over time. I've only had it for a couple of months. I actually picked this up at the Iwa trade show that happened a little earlier in the year. And what I experienced there was the generosity of Spyderco. So I went there to film not only the guns and the outdoor gear, but also some of the knives that were there. It's basically, Iwa is basically the European version of SHOT Show. And I've said that in some of my other videos. I'll link the video where I talk to Spyderco, Eric Lesser, the uh, president down below if you'd like to see that video. Um, but when I was filming, I was doing some B-roll, I was kind of mentioning, hey, I'm really excited about buying the uh, Spyderco Salt Native 5, and I was asking if they were in stock and things of that nature, and that I've never bought a Native 5, but I keep hearing all about how great they are. And then I told him that I shouldn't be telling him that I'm planning on buying one. I should, if I was a good YouTuber, <laughs> I would be pitching, hey, I run a YouTube channel, and can you, um, can you send me one to review? So Eric, while I was wrapping up and uh, finishing some B-roll, he actually went into his back office and grabbed this knife new in box and handed it to me. I got you, so. You are, you're too kind. <laughs> no problem. And said, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And here you go, this is, this is yours to keep. And I was really blown away uh, by that generosity. And I like to, let y'all know not only that I received this product uh, at, at no cost to me, but also I like to let y'all know the the people behind uh, the products that I really enjoy. Uh, so getting back to the product though, the blade itself, the point of this drops halfway between the spine of the blade and the the the, the toil. You see how it, how it kind of has that shape right there, and that makes it great for piercing. And of course, you can also see that it's great for piercing if. You you look at the, the, the side of the knife. Now what makes this great for slicing is the belly of the blade and of course that it's full flat ground as well. Um, the handle is extremely lightweight. It has the bi-directional FRN handles that Spyderco uses in some of its other popular knives like the Delica 4. You can see the Delica 4 right here. You can see kind of the see, see the side-by-side -side comparison of it. It's similar sizing. Another couple of key features I wanted to talk about is that it does have jimping right here on the, the, the spine of the blade and right here in the finger choil and it has a little bit of jimping back here to help you with, with the grip. It's extremely well designed, it's extremely ergonomic. I wear medium sized gloves, I can choke up, choke down on this knife and um, not only is this going to be good for finer cutting task with that finger choil, but if you need the leverage of the handle, you can choke down on this and still get really, really good cutting. So not only is this going to be great for large 
cardboard cutting tasks, but even the, the, the finer small cutting tasks like getting into plastic packaging and things of that nature. Now to further compare this knife to other Spyderco knives, we have the Manix 2 right here and you can see kind of a side by side size how the Manix 2, honestly it has a lot of the same features. It's got that finger choil and then jimping right here and it's really really well designed uh, full size you know or large pocket knife and it really doesn't get any better especially the lightweight version but honestly most tasks you're going to come across even larger ones I think the native 5 is going to be great for and then for a smaller knife and this knife I've been carrying for years now and I've fallen asleep of this in my pocket many many times because of how lightweight this is and it basically doesn't take up any pocket space so that the dragonfly 2 is honestly one of my favorite knife designs but i know that it has limitations because of the size of the blade so i won't even call it a compromise I just think that this is a perfect design, the, the Nata 5. So the real question is, what is better, the Nata 5 or the Delica 4? And I'll leave that question for you guys in the comment section down below what you guys think. But just note that the Delica 4, even though it has amazing ergonomics, it does not have that finger choil that can give you added control. So like I said, let me know in the comment section what you think. And I also love to hear your thoughts on if you have any of the salt knives. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on the steel itself. How does it perform over time? And of course, if you have an eight of five, let me know your thoughts on it. Uh, maybe you're going to ask me questions like, why it's taken me so long to finally get an eight of five. And of course, if you're just someone who owns Spyderco knives, let me know your thoughts as well. If you've learned anything from the rambling of this video, uh, click the like button, hit subscribe. I hope you guys really pay attention to Spyderco's salt line of knives, especially for those of you who spend a lot of time in wet or moist or damp environments. Honestly, this knife is going to be coming with me no matter if I'm going to experience rain or snow or any of those that type of precipitation. Honestly, I just really, really like this knife and I highly recommend it for any of you guys who don't have a native five. Anyways, guys, y'all stay safe out there and remember it pays you repaired. God bless cutting tasks like getting into package packet plastic packaging and things of that nature pocket clip one hand opening and back lock design midway down the handle all these three things were originally invented by spider co